Hey everybody, this video brings me and pretty much the entire crew out here to uh, Wilmington, Delaware. Delaware? Uh, hi. Delaware! Uh, we're, hey. we're in, hey, we're, we're in, in Delaware. Delaware. I wanna see the screen door, I'm, literally every video we've ever done in Delaware, we use these same Thank exact you. jokes every Thank single you. time. Anyway, the, literally, 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 literally every single time. We're here at Jupiter Records. This store is amazing. This store is full of nothing but a ton of records and all kinds of music and also a ton of movies as well. They got the $1 movie room in the back, which I think you're excited about. Last time I was here, I bought a bunch of Criterions and stuff. So pretty excited to see what it is we ended up finding today. I know I'm probably gonna end up spending a ton of money inside the store like I, I usually tend to do, which is which is okay. I'm, I'm all right with that. Yeah, this store is just in intense and um again i'm i'm, I'm okay with that this is good. we're gonna be here for about seven hours we've only been in this store for all of like five minutes and so far this is all i've done just just walked in circles i haven't really even looked at anything yet i don't even know where to begin do, do i dive into the dollar room first or should i wait for the rickster to go in there i do i do i look through all of this stuff here do i try to find criterions do i do i go through the the blu-rays over there i the answer to all those questions is yes. <laughs> just, just yes. I, I like that. Just yeah. Look, at, there's so many Warner Archive titles here as well. This, this store's intense. All right. Well, I found the Criterions and there are a lot to look through here. I think all the um, $10 ones were bought up by me last time I was in the store. So I'm not really seeing any $10 Criterions today. If, if, there, if there were, I'd buy every single one. These all are ranging from like, I don't know, anywhere from like 20 something dollars down to maybe like $12 definitely tempted by a lot of these since a lot of this stuff i actually don't have i don't know what what would you pick up leave comments down below what should i be grabbing here some of this i do already have but a lot of this i actually don't have as well i need to be picking some of this up i i might walk out of here with at least one criterion today possibly maybe we'll see i don't know i'm, I'm thinking i'm thinking at least one criteria though I'm gonna come back to the Criterions later, but uh, right now I'm definitely picking up this. Salad Days, a decade of punk in Washington, D.C., 1980 to 1990 for only $7. This is an awesome Blu-ray I don't have in my collection. I'm a big fan of punk music, big fan of hardcore. The, the D.C. hardcore punk scene was pretty awesome. Bands like Bad Brains and stuff like that. This is really, really cool. So this I am definitely picking up for only $7. Like I said, I don't have this yet in my collection. That is awesome. All right, uh, a documentary all about punk rock music from a an amazing record store. I'm happy with this find. Oh no, what did RJ just find? Are these all the laser discs? What? Yeah. See, this this is what I should. But I'm seeing things like, like when dinosaurs ruled the earth. That's awesome. This is what I should stay away from. I don't need to get back into collecting laser discs. But if it's something I don't have on any other format, then picking up laser discs. I mean, that's not a, that's not a bad, that, I, I still buy laser discs. I still do pick up laser discs. As long as, again, as long as it's something I don't have on, on another format. And I am seeing some pretty cool things here. Look at this. I already have these, but that's an awesome set right there. That, yeah. I feel like I should just walk away from these, but at the same, but at the same time, I feel like I should look through them because there might be something good I don't have on DVD or Blu-ray yet. Right? The conundrum of collecting. Laser discs. They actually have some really awesome horror titles on here. Things like The Tingler and uh, The Mummy, which is really cool. See, but again, that's it's stuff I already own on, I think I had those all on DVD, or I think I actually have The Mummies on Blu-ray, if I'm not mistaken, but regardless, it doesn't matter. I don't need them on Laserdisc, but I mean, look how look how beautiful they are. I I love the idea of getting back into collecting Laserdiscs. I know, I know better. I wish I just had more room to like frame these and hang them, ooh, did I just say that? I used to be so against when people would tell me they're buying laser discs to, to, to just frame them. And now I'm saying, man, if I had room, I'd buy them and frame them. Oh no. Oh no, Chris, I'm turning into one of those people. Um, turning what? into? What are you, you saying I already am one of those people? Oh, oh yeah. Gee, thanks. All right, so I think I finally decided on the one criterion I wanted to pick up, and that is the innocence. I figured, why not? I don't have it. Actually, do you, do you want to know how I, I decided on which criterion I was going to pick up? by price alone, because it was $13. And I was like, well, this one's $7. So 13 plus seven, I mean, it's 20. It seems like a good round number. That's how I decided on what criteria I'm picking up for my, my collection. I, is it a good movie? I don't know. I don't, I don't have it. It's criteria number 727, which I, again, don't have. Well, it seems like a very innocent way to find out. What uh, you I see what you kind of did there. Yeah, that was terrible. Anyway, I'm going to continue. It's an innocent joke. I'm going to continue there. Dude, that was a little better. That was a you're, you're getting there. Just keep keep working on it. The age, it's the age of innocence. Eventually, one of these days, you'll be funny. I, I see it happening. You know what? 
You know what I just realized? What? You're like a real life Fozzie Bear. Uh, I am. I, I am. I like that. I waka waka. They've got a ton of Hanna-Barbera collection stuff here. I have a lot of these, like Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space. I think I had this on Blu-ray. Didn't they release this on Blu-ray? I want to say I, I maybe possibly have that. I have things like Dino Mud. I have Birdman. I have Hong Kong Fooey, but... I don't have all of these. I don't have the Roman Holidays. That's awesome. I don't have Captain Caveman. I don't have um, Space Stars. I, I Do I have Johnny Quest? I want to say I have Johnny Quest. I don't have Snorich, which is awesome. Do you have Jabberjaw? Don't, nyuck, 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 nyuck. I don't have because, Jabberjaw. Because if you don't, you sweet, sweet, sweet you should, should get, get it. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. I saw that one coming. I, I did see it coming, nyuck, nyuck, and, nyuck, I, nyuck. and I don't I don't have it. I, I want that as well. I, I mean, I've only spent $20 so far, but still, I feel like I need to be at least somewhat good with my money, right? No, you just sweetly just, should. Sweetly, just buy it all. Why not? So you talk about laser discs, you know, things you would collect that didn't necessarily get a whole lot of releases, yeah. right? Well, it's not a laser disc, it's a record, but it's raggedy. wait, wait, hold on, is that Annabelle? So what is this? In her very first motion picture. Oh, that's cool. Never released to uh, DVD or Blu-ray or anything. Only only right. uh, VHS. So it's and I think maybe laser disc, maybe. But this is the soundtrack, and it's like a promo oh, copy for a record that's company, cool. like a, a radio station. You, yeah. you picking that up? Not for sale. Demonstration. I have a copy of this. <laughs> of course, it's of course you do. Cool, like that. You get the record sample. So you're not picking version. it up. You just wanted to show everybody that you found it. And it's it's Annabelle. It's Annabelle. All right. So, fair, yeah, fair, fair, fair enough. Fair it, enough. It checks multiple. Boxes. I mean, Annabelle. I'm going this way and getting away from Annabelle. <laughs> I guess I should have done the joke. I'm sorry. It's, yeah. I'm I'm too overwhelmed to joke too much today. It's either going to be something amazing that has to do with Muppets, or it's going to be something that's going to destroy me because it's going to have to do with Song of the South. I'm, I'm calling it right now. It's one of the two. So I hear, I hear Chris down here going, oh boy, oh boy, oh oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What did you find? Okay, a so... odd copy of Manamana. Manamana. But this might be like the original Swedish version. I don't oh. know. But uh, going through here, and there's, uh, this is really cool stuff. Your howdy partner. Okay. Uh, the fox and the Okay, cannon. okay. That's really cool, but you know... <laughs> just, there's so much good stuff here like this uncle you Remus. son of a <laughs> so not only was it muppets or song of the south how about it's muppets and song of the south i've never even seen this before that's that's pretty awesome thanks for handing it over stupid sucker, huh? all right so i don't know again still overwhelmed still looking around i guess maybe i should finally start diving into all the um the one dollar titles what do you guys find what is it what is that amazing Definitely 100% legitimate uh -huh. copy That's of right. Titanic on VHS. See, That's the $2,000 copy right there. I was thinking $3,000, but yeah? home video. Is that all stuff you're picking up, or is that just a pile of things? That's my pile of what things. What the heck? All right, so so clearly I need to just put the camera Let's down and start diving through all this stuff. Nothing here. What? 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 <laughs> all right, I made a mistake. I should have came in here first. All right, well, I just started looking and already I'm finding something uh, maybe interesting. This is the best of Pumpkin Chunk in 2007. This is something they, they do in Delaware. I have the 2005 DVD. It's one of the most boring, god-awful DVDs I've ever seen in my entire life. I thought it was going to be like a documentary about Pumpkin Chunkin. It's not. It's just watching people like set up trebuchets and just launching pumpkins. It, it sounds interesting. It's really not. So why do I want this one? Because it's a dollar and you I, better be careful I want to pick it up. Pumpkin communities and come after you. No, <laughs> pumpkin chunking in itself is pretty awesome. I, I'm not knocking the community. I'm just knocking whoever made this. Well, whoever made the 2000. I, I haven't seen this one. Whoever made the 2005 DVD. Eh, you you, you, you could have done better. Here's some National Geographic. This is China's Lost Girls. I don't have this Nat Geo documentary in my collection. At least I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't have this National Geographic documentary in my collection. I need to get around to, to recataloging all them. It's a dollar. I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm going to pick it up. I'll just buy anything that's that's Nat Geo. Find some, some Clint Eastwood there. Everybody now. <laughs> All right, so we're going through all these DVDs and Blu-rays, and I'm not really finding much in the way of anything I need. I mean, other than the fact that I'm finding some Nat Geo and some uh, Pumpkin Chunkin', which is kind of awesome. I also think I'm going to pick up Nurse Betty. I had this in a multi-feature set, and I, I got all the titles I really wanted from that set individually, but I, did, I didn't replace this one because, I, I, I don't know, I, I've, just, I've never seen Nurse Betty. I don't know if it's any good, but some of you guys did leave a comment on a recent video saying that I actually should check this movie out. So, you know what? It's a dollar. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to watch it, so... All right, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe that's it for, for me and dollar DVDs. I don't really see anything else I want. 
I guess since I am in a record store, I should probably buy at least one. Well, I don't, I don't really do records, records. Unless, unless it's a Spice Girl record, but um, I don't really do records. However, what I <laughs> what I do do is CDs, and um, I I do I do I do indeed do do CDs. So I'm finding some X here. This is awesome for only eight dollars. This is actually a uh, this this, this is actually he's actually I'm I'm throwing out accents for some reason now. This is actually a double CD set, which is pretty awesome. I don't have this. This is uh, from Be Beyond and Back, the X Anthology, which is pretty cool. What? What do you want? It's probably actually, excellent. Anyway. It's probably, it's probably excellent. What? Oh my gosh. Excellent. Hey, on, I'm, pick I'm, 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 excellent. I'm picking up X, all right? And I'm thrifting X by, my, I'm thrifting by myself for, for now on out, thrifting by myself. Here's the Blue Underground release of Smithereens. I actually don't have this yet. They're only asking $4 on this. I'm thinking I'm going to be picking this up as well. I've I've heard of this movie, but I've never actually seen this film. Apparently, it's a pretty good 80s flick, so I'm definitely wanting to uh, to pick this up. All right, ooh, look at that, 1982. And as we all know, the greatest year ever, right? 1982. 1982, the best year ever. I mean, it's the year of... A figment in the year of, um, well, the well, the year. Dark Crystal came out in 1982, so. There, there you go. You see? We can just add to the list of amazing things that happened in 1982. Minus the, one, plus the, two. The amazing things that happened in 1982. Anyway, I'm buying that DVD. All right, well, I'm thinking that just might about do it for uh, Jupiter Records. I don't know. There's there's so much to look through. I, I'm sure I could find so much more stuff if I really, really dug, but there's clearly a lot to dig through. So I'm thinking it's just going to be this... The stack here. I mean, I'm finding some pretty cool things. I'm spending like $36, which honestly is pretty good. I, I really thought I'd be spending a lot more money today. I, I kind of, I I may have brought $100 with me thinking that I was going to be spending $100 in here. So the fact that I'm walking out only spending $36, i am I'm kind of okay with that. I don't really mind the fact that I'm not spending $100 today. But I, I, again, I don't know. I could keep looking, but I think everybody else is done. So I'm just going to call it quits and stick with this pile. Actually, hold on. We're still kind of all congregating here in the record store. We haven't left yet, and I decided to look through the, the punk section one more time, and I came across this Boy Sets Fire CD, which is pretty awesome. But what I didn't realize is it comes with a free DVD as well, which is pretty awesome. They're only asking $3 on this, so... All right, I'm, I'm picking this up as well. Good good punk band. I've seen them live a couple of times, so... All right, I'm grab, grabbing that too. I guess after tax, I'm, I'm right around like $40. I'm pretty happy with that, but I'm... I'm dropping everything. What? Yes. No. What? Oh, we're in Delaware. There is no tax in Delaware. Well, you see, now I, now I completely forgot. There's no tax in Delaware. Do I want to only be spending thirty-nine dollars, or should I find another one-dollar DVD and make it an even forty? My OCD is telling me I should go make it an even forty. Go find me another cool one dollar. I know. I'll I'm be spending. Let's there. let's spend another three hours looking through all the one dollar DVDs. Can we? Oh, let's, let's go. Come come on. Come on. Let's do it. We're hungry. We're hungry. All right. Wait a minute. Actually, hold on. So John, I realized just put a uh, a DVD back that he was gonna pick up, but decided against, and it's only it's only one dollar. So I'm thinking, I might actually grab it for the store. And that is Army of Dark. Wait, sorry. Bruce Campbell versus the Army of Darkness, the director's cut, the official bootleg for only. Again, for only one dollar, you said this was, uh, was 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 minty in that. Uh, was it? It's pretty good. It's pretty <laughs> so good. all right. So I'm guessing there. There we go. Even Delaware forty. Woo! Now now I'm now I'm happy. All right, guys. So that is gonna do it for Jupiter Records. I mean, we all look look at seriously. Look at this giant stack of stuff. Giant stack of stuff. Giant bag, bag of stuff. Tons of stuff there. The, even RJ has a whole bunch of CDs. I got a bag full of things. I mean, this store is just amazing. And like I said, had I looked around more, I'm sure I could have picked up just a ton, a ton more stuff. But sometimes you just, after like three hours of being inside a store, sometimes you just gotta call it quits. Or, or, or Song of the South. Shut up. You, you're walking, you're walking home. That's all I know. So anyway, guys, with that, we're done. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And of course, check down below for links to Patreon, oh, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also check down below for links to my second channel, Retro Rest Stop for Fun at Daily Ventures. And I'll put links to all these guys' YouTubes and Instagrams and whatnots down below as well. Social. So you can check them out. If you guys want to if you guys want to see what they picked up, I'm guessing you're all gonna post about it at some point, right? Possibly maybe. So, they're not point. even listening. In so anyway. Maybe. If, you're if you guys want to see what they picked up, head over to there social media. All right, that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you next video. Bye. Bye, Rick. Bye. 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 Bye.
They don't even care. All right, I'll see you guys next video. Have a go, guys. Thanks for watching. $3.69. Uh, mine, mine actually really random. For some reason, mine came out to, oh, because some of them are 99 cents. It was thir $39.95. $39? Weird. Nickelback? Hey, big spender. Oh, look at this yeah, photograph. <laughs> <Mine's> <laughs> we're I was, I was waiting for it. What? That's Mine's what she said. Okay. Are we done now? Yeah. Can we go get food? Let's go food. get lunch. Lunch. <laughs> Six hours later, we're finally done. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Uh, bye.